Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back and well today I'm going to show you how to uh, do floating point arithmetic and this is very important so uh, pay attention. Uh, first of all go to file, new and now let's save the file so uh, click on save and now give it a name. The name is going to be um, floats.asm. Uh, Actually um, you can name it whatever you want but I'm going to talk to you about floats and doubles so that's why I decided to name it like that so as usual we have two sections that data and that text and first of all we need two numbers because I want to show you how to perform arithmetic on those numbers so we're going to place those numbers in random access memory so give it a name the first number is going to be number one colon the data type it's going to be float and the value is going to be guess what 3.14 so I need another number so I'm going to give it a name number 2 colon it's going to be a data type float and the value is going to be guess what 2.1 I mean 2.71 so I have two numbers right here and right now these two numbers are in random access memory so in my uh, text section for my instructions or my code, I want to place those numbers in in registers in my in my processor. So I want to move. I want to take the value from random access memory and put the value in in registers. So to do that, I have to use this instruction: um, load word code processor one. So load word into code processor one and then I specify uh, what register I want to put the value uh, in and I want to place it in the register that sign F2 and now the label so the label or, or, or the name is number one number one so what this did is that now the value uh, 3.14 is in register dollar sign F2. I'm gonna do the same thing for um, for the second number, but I'm gonna load it in register dollar sign F4. So now I have number two, number number two. So the the value 2.71 is in this register right now. So whenever you're loading a value from random access memory, if the value is floating point num is a flow is a float, then you have to use load word into code processor one. And right here you have all the registers to the right, and you have the the regular registers right here. But whenever you're dealing with uh, floating point numbers or with doubles, with floats or doubles, uh, you have to focus on this register right here, code processor one. So this is what you use for uh, floating point numbers. So um, now let's say that I want to add the numbers. So to add the numbers, I say add, but I cannot use this right here. I have to say add dot s because I want to add two numbers that are floats. And then I want to place it in dollar sign F12, for example, and the values I want to add are dollar sign F2 and dollar sign F4. So right now you see that all the values right here, they have zero. All the regist all the registers have zero uh, in floats. But when I execute the code, F12 is gonna have the the sum. It's gonna have the result of 3.14 plus 2.71. So let me show you. Uh, I'm going to save, run, assemble, and execute. And if you pay attention here, as I told you, F12 has the 5.85. So 5.85004, uh, 0, um, this is the value after you add 3.14 and 2.71. So what you need to remember is that to load a flow from random access memory, you use this special instruction, load word into coprocessor1. 
and to add those uh, numbers you instead of saying add you have to use add dot s so now uh, I, I want to show you that if you were dealing with doubles uh, it's gonna be different uh, instead of saying float here you have to change the data type so it's gonna be double and here it's gonna be double too double and this instruction like right here load word this is just for floats um, load word into coprocessor one but if you're dealing with doubles you have to say load double into coprocessor one load double into coprocessor one so now this value 3.14 will will be in f2 and it will also be in f3 and the value 2.71 is going to be in f4 but it's also going to be in f5 and you might be wondering why well remember it's a double and a double requires two registers because it's 64 bits and in mips uh, 32 bits every register is just 32 bits so that's why you but you always have you always have to use um, the numbers to like um, have to be pairs so the result is going to be stored in the in in two registers so always choose uh, registers um, that are pairs that are even I mean even even numbers so finally instead of saying add that s you say add that double so right here add that double so this is gonna add these two numbers and then it's gonna place the result in the register so let me show you actually I'm just gonna print it out for you so to print it out I say load uh, immediate dollar sign v0 comma 3 and Cisco and I don't have to pl to place the argument because I already did when I, when I added the numbers, I placed them in F12. So in order to print them, the, the, the value has to be in F12. So let me clear, save, assemble, and execute. Voila, 5.85. So you can see. Uh, remember, for doubles, you use load double into coprocessor 1. For flow, to, for flow to use load word into coprocessor 1. And um, it's going to work for you. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about this. And, and well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.